Picking up speed, it's the new man, Ethan Rowland. Gets up to Huxley, down left wing side. Huxley circling around the goal, tries a wraparound try, that one stopped. Rebound, picked up once again by Huxley. Circles back to the blue line. Huxley throws it toward the goal, and he scores! A seeing eye shot for Brett Huxley, his sixth of the year, and the Oilers strike first, it's 1-0. Oh, that puck, he just came down the wing, and I'm sitting here watching him going, shoot the puck, son, shoot the puck! <laughs> and he does, and he hangs on, he goes all the way around the net, comes all the way to the top, and you know what, he just put a flutter on the net. And Good speed here, McKinley down the left wing side, sends it toward the front of the goal, cut off on a nice defensive play, but Spruce Grove maintains possession, and they score! Puck gets set in front, Ewan McPherson, with his seventh of the season and third in his last two games, and quickly we are tied to one. Hey, you know, it's funny when you listen to this, your, your voice, right? You're telling the kid to shoot. Anyone to maneuver out there right now. Puck gets swung around, picked up by Huck. He leaves it off, and now it's Hellier racing after it. Hellier, chance for a break, sends the pass across. Gorley scores! Connor Gorley with his eighth of the year on a great feed from Connor Hellier. And here we go again, it's two to one. And five shots on goal, so, <laughs> oh gosh, I hope not. But on this goal, I don't know if Huck did this on purpose, but he was the guy that was supposed to get the pass, and he sort of let it go. And Huck's there, uh, there he, like, he just maybe missed. It is going to be Benicasa with it first. Drives in, deeks to the backhand, and he slides it wide. Face-off controlled by the Oilers, but a good battle there by Spruce Grove. They get it back to the blue line. Long shot kick save by Saga. And now Huck with a lot of room out there, racing down the left wing side. Makes a beauty move around the defender. Quick shot, and the save is made. Dude. Walking by at 6-4. <laughs> Weller has it at the blue line, makes a move around the defender, drives in on his forehand, quick shot and a glove save there. Drops it back off, oh, looked like he was gonna drop it off for Brady, instead sends it down low, great puck movement, chance of front stop, rebound, loose and it hits the side the of the goal, goal line and held in there by Spruce Grove. Batted at again, Wolfenberg throws a hit, but lost the Where puck. it's going to be picked up there uh, by Sundar. He gets bumped, gets it back to Brady, long wrist shot, scores! Net front presence may have gotten the way of Saka, but this game is tied 2-2. Well, walking Alberta is just <laughs> screaming. I think yeah, half the town's probably watching, but that puck had eyes, and uh, I don't think Saka even that really gets deflected. Huck tries to clear, gets tied up, comes out in front, quick shot, and Parker Saka makes his best save of the game. Three was and now Wolfenberg skates it out down the right side, throws a huge hit as he dumps the puck there, in. Just as one. Newman throws one at the blue line. There's a big hit, Wolfenberg, he's always good for about five of them. In there in support, Huck continues to dig. Looked like Gorley was gonna come away with it. Huck eventually does, has it on his forehand, shot deflected and rebound. Guy their power play ranks seventh in the league at 18.7%. They quickly work it around and the shot scores. Set play off the faceoff. Evan Sundar out of St. Albert with his second of the year and late in the first period. Spruce Grove takes the lead, it's three to two. Well, can we say you better be ready to take your face off? I mean, that was... Uh... Back behind the goal, gets helped along by Spruce Grove. Big hit by Gorley, forces a turnover. Yoder sends it toward the front. Roland has the puck poked away from him. And then he gets hit hard behind the goal. Centering pass, comes out in front. Yoder with a shot, deflected, rebound, scores! The puck took a good bounce for Okotoks, and they capitalize. And 50 seconds into the second period, this game's tied at three. These goals are identical if the teams are scoring. That, that's the same sort of thing that Spruce Grove would have scored in the first period. Trying to come out, no, you can't do it. You uh, All of a sudden, you look into the middle of the ice, up high in the slot, and Cabana's looking, he's looking. Back around with it now is Benny Casa. Cuts in the middle, sends a pass across, one-timer save made. And firing Rebound. Sundar, but he had that one blocked. Now back to the blue line. Brady drops one off for Fusion. The puck just stuck there, and it comes back in. Comes back to the blue line, long shot, deflected. Floats out at the side of the goal. Watkins can't get a handle on it. Wolfenberg dumps him down and then looks for the... McGuire has it stolen. Here's a chance now. Spruce Grove sends a pass across, and Saka robbed him. A phenomenal save by Saka, keeping this game tied at three. Another chance for Spruce Grove, and another save by Saka. This time, Caden Shabbat is robbed. Now back the other out to the blue line. A couple of players collide, and now it's a chance here. Racing away with it is Jackson Roland on the breakaway. Roland deep save made by Kane. Not for lack of trying in this period, but no goals here in the middle stanza yet. Long shot, that one blocked in front, rebound scores. Okotoks takes the lead, 4-3. Well, if you take a shot, 
you never know what's going to happen. And that's what's happened here for, for a lot of these goals tonight. And puck goes to the point, just head it to the net. You know, if you... The other way. He cuts up and he gets drilled on a big hit by Brown. And that'll spring Gourley down the right wing side. Gourley tries to send a pass across. That one gets broken up on a sliding play by Magaral. To the blue line, McGuire across to Turner. That one goes a bit diagonally the wrong way. So Okadoops has to retreat and they almost score. It took a weird bounce off the stanchion and Kane didn't see it. That shot now whistles just over the net. Roland to handle. Now it's Hellier. Hard pass across. One timer trying to right save there. It gets broken up. And a breakaway chance now here for Spruce Grove. But they leave the puck behind. Still an opportunity. Another chance. He falls down. Two opportunities there. Cassette couldn't get Tapper. there. Tapper was looking for a pass. And he gets drilled by Fusion on a huge. Yoder waits. Down low. Sends a pass across. That one gets intercepted. Brown with the hold. Brown passes it down low. Roland drops it off Brown, sends a pass in front, deflected in! It gets deflected off of Magarol and in, and Okotoks with a bit of breathing room, it's 5-3. to three. Well, that's exactly what they wanted to do, that's a huge goal for Okotoks. And they came down, they controlled the puck, and they went into their power play. There was a couple of times Hellier had that puck on the side, and Roland was sitting in the back door waiting for that puck, and finally it came... Long shot, that gets deflected. Bounces right to Shabbat, centering pass gets broken up. Rebound at the side, great save, Parker Saka pounces on it. Now he races back in, McGuire tries to get on the forehand, sends it to the front of the goal, puck bouncing around, it's still loose, and a great defensive play there from Shabbat. He's up some speed, he has Gorley going to the front of the goal. Huck drives in, cuts to the forehand, shoots, and he oh. just missed, I don't know how that stayed out. For the third period, Spruce Grove needs two. McKinley winds, long shot stop, rebound, they jam away at it. Saka holds on. It's across. With six Another shot, that one gets blocked on a nice play and cleared by Ethan Rowland. The bank shot, heads down toward the empty net and just missed. The clock, six seconds, the face off. Controlled by the Oilers, they will tie it up along the wall. You could sit there all night, this way this game is gone. Two of the top teams in the HAHL do not disappoint and they exchange pleasantries after the whistle here. Yeah, I always wondered why, why do, if you're gonna do something Game's over, buddy. Yeah. It's done, right? I mean, a little bit of frustration. I get it, but yeah, yeah don't bother. <laughs> but Parker Saka, you know, we kind of looked at him sideways in the first period going, oh, not again. And he stepped it up.